Now you should follow suit and just get to the bay. People gon' talk either good or it's bad. Let's see, people gon' talk either good or it's bad. Welcome back to the Empress Kina Show. My astrology videos have been doing numbers lately, so I'm gonna do Beware the Sign. Things that you should watch out for when it comes to a specific zodiac sign. No hard feelings or anything. I'm not trying to comment nobody specifically. So without further ado, let's get started. We're gonna start off with Aries. Rage, rage. <laughs> Don't piss them off. If you piss an Aries off, I'm not saying that it's the end of the world. I'm just saying it will be World War III. When an Aries gets angry, you gonna regret what they about to say. They're not gonna care about how it comes off. They're not gonna care about your feelings afterward. They damn sure not gonna care about your feelings in that moment. They have temper problems. They are very hot-headed people. It's, it's just bad. It's just bad for everybody that's involved. Hey, damn, okay. She really have to say, my mama ugly too? Okay, on to Taurus. Stop burn AF. They're so stubborn. That's the worst thing about Taurus. And a lot of Earth signs. They're headstrong. You cannot change their mind. When they have their mind made up, it's no changing it. And you can try and tell them a different way that may work better or smoother, but they're like, no, I'm still going to do it this way because that's the way I I know this one. But I'm trying to tell you another way so that'll save you time. No, I don't care. I don't care. Okay. Gemini. Cray. C. My sister for Gemini. She like psychopaths. I feel like more serial killers have been Gemini's than any other sign. They're bipolar. I don't understand it. Nobody gets it. Honestly, can switch from the nicest, sweetest person to their evil twin, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, in 0.5 seconds. You know who a Gemini? Trump. That should tell you everything right there. Cancer, emotional manipulators. They're very emotional, but they know how to use that to their advantage. They know that if they sit there and they cry and they get people to feel sorry for them, then everybody gonna be comforting them. And then while they sitting there crying, they like this. <laughs> they plan to work. They know how to like play on other people's emotions because they understand emotions a lot better than most human beings. It's just really sad because it's been really hard for me. My phone bill is due, it's gonna be cut off. And then you're like, oh, what's, how much do you need? Okay, well, it's actually $150, but I just don't even feel right accepting your help. Water signs. Don't even get me started on Scorpios. We're going to get to them in a minute. Leos. Their biggest downfall, they crave so much attention. I get it because I like attention too, but it's just like, I'm not gonna step into the spotlight and command the attention. Whereas Leo, if they're not the center of attention, they're going to flip out until the attention is on them. They can literally trip and fall. And they're like, oh my God, I broke my leg. Someone call 911. Was it really all of that? Was that really all necessary? It's like they thrive on it. Power up, attention meter, leveling up. Anyway, Virgos, they can be a little bit controlling and possessive. They want everything to be perfect. They want everything to be a certain way. And they can be a little bit possessive over things that they feel like belong to them. Even they lovers, they feel like, nah, like you belong to me. They're also very emotionally guarded. It's kind of hard to get underneath their surface. They're not gonna break it and soften it, but on the inside, it's soft. It can get a little bit overwhelming at times because you just like, why you need to go through my phone? Why you need my social security number? Why you need my password? Is this an interrogation? Virgo, Libra, lion ass Libras, G. They're damn near one of the most intelligent signs in the zodiac. They know how people think. They can read people very well. They can get into your brain without even realizing they snooping around in your brain. And because their strong point is intellect, Libras probably are the biggest con artists of all time. And they're really convincing at what they say. They probably make the best actors, honestly. Scorpio. Danger, danger, beware, beware. Scorpios are dangerous. They are the most manipulative. I honestly think they're the most manipulative out of all the signs in general. They have mastered the art of the sublime. They're always trying to figure out what is to somebody. What makes you tick? What makes you upset? What makes you happy? Why are you gathering all of these statistics and stats on people? What is your motive? And that's what you need to be asking. They put it in their pocket and storing it away so that they need ammunition. They got it. But if you ever cross them, do not cross the Scorpio. They've already prepared for a battle with you. You can't win. Don't do it. They also sex demons. They just, ugh, next. Sagittarius. Sagittarius are just so callous. Nonchalantly unbothered. Well, I don't care. Whatever. I mean, that's up to you. Make a decision. What do you want? Why do you never have a definite choice about anything? You just don't know if you want to commit to people, but you kind of do want to commit to people, but you don't really care either way it goes because you're having fun. Is that what it is? You don't care about nothing? Care. It's okay to care. I don't know who told y'all that like not caring was cool. It's not. It's not. It's actually pretty weird. Name for damn 
damn sure don't care about your feelings. They barely care about their own feelings. Don't just sit back and let stuff happen to you over and over again because you just don't care. That's not cool. Capricorn, so dramatic, G. They love to play the victim too. Like they never understand why things happen to them, even when they're the culprit of it. It's almost like, well, I mean, I know I cheated on you, killed your dog, got your car repossessed, but I just don't understand why you breaking up with me. What? What you mean? You don't see nothing wrong with what you saying, because in your mind, what you saying is the most accurate, is the most relevant, the only thing that makes sense, and fuck everybody else's opinion, but you don't understand why people mad at you right now. You literally just provoked it, and you don't understand why people mad. You cannot tell a Capricorn anything that they do is invalid. They got all the answers. Capricorns, they always cap it. Aquarius, their way is literally the only way. Aquariuses, they don't change. They, real life, believe that their way is the only way. And they just can be so cold hearted. Like, they just have no remorse. No. I will not do it your way because my way is the most logical. Your way is clearly wrong because I am the one that knows what is best. And they mouth, they mouth is just, ooh. It's just quick, it's that air. And they're the coldest of the air signs because they're in the winter time. So when they say stuff, it's just like, damn. Did you need to shoot me with icicles into my heart? I was only friends with you because you were friends with so-and-so. But now that me and so-and-so are friends, I really could care less whether you're my friend or not. Damn. <laughs> I was a little strong. Okay, well. That's how I feel, so sorry. Finally, Pisces. They are the biggest crybabies in the, all of the Zodiac. That's their biggest downfall. They cry too much. Every little thing upsets them. So literally just tell them, I didn't really like that shirt you wore yesterday. I can't believe she said that. Does that mean she doesn't like me? They're emotionally attached to things way too easily, and they real life don't know how to separate their feelings sometimes from things that their feelings do not need to be attached to. Every little thing hurt their feelings. You real life gotta be careful around Pisces, but they're still sweet though don't get me wrong but they real life can just feel like you attacking them and all you said was you didn't agree with what they said remember a man show well what's that supposed to mean they're always crying uh, relax it's not that big of a deal they could get cheated on and now they just want to talk shit about all men in the whole universe these men just be out here they always lying don't even trust your man because he probably gonna do you like my man did me they be so hurt let it go all right that's all i got for you today let me know if you want me to do another video on these stay tuned for the next video